I always find it so insane that we always get to the end, but Band of the Week ends today. The marching band kids with whom I spoke at Lakewood Ranch High says 2020 savaged them and 2021 humbled them. So did success culminate their 2022 marching season? I share the sounds and season of the Lakewood Ranch Mustang Marching Band in the final edition of this season's Friday Football Fever, Band of the Week. The Lakewood Ranch Mustang Marching Band is known for competing in state championships, but the program was also known for being a lot bigger. Co-drum major Jonathan Torres. COVID really destroyed our band and we're still trying to build it up to where it used to be. So we're getting there. From 145 kids when these seniors started high school to 85 now. According to guard co-captain Jasmine Burden. When COVID hit, we dropped significant numbers because we weren't able to advertise to the middle schools. They're also coming off a relatively disappointing state championship performance in 2021. It was a beautiful show. But they placed seventh in the semifinals, and they needed to place top five to compete in the finals. The seniors that were in my freshman year class, everyone was really, really dedicated to winning because we hadn't gone to finals in a couple years. When my junior year show came along, we already felt like we had it in the pocket, and it really humbled us. Color Guard co-captain Amy Cook says that kind of thing is actually a motivator for kids coming into this program. Being sad that you didn't make finals, mm -hmm. the drive to get it next year. And for a competitive band such as the Mustang, state championships are what they're always riding toward. It's pretty exciting, it's pretty, like all the competitions are, but states is just like another level for us. So I feel like it brings the whole band together more. So we get our score, then we're all excited how hard we work together. That brings us to this year's show. The show's called Dark Waters, and it follows the story of a Poseidon who loses his triton and like his power over the sea. And we're like, we're like Poseidon's soldiers trying yeah, to get him. trying to get the triton back. A show they did take to the state championship and ultimately placed fourth in their class. And if pouring rain hadn't canceled the finals, they'd have performed again for the opportunity to bring home the state title. It's the thrill of performance and achievement that sucked Jasmine into the band in the first place. It all started literally right over there at the front of the school. Someone was twirling a flag and they were like, here, try it, try throwing it. And that was what got me hugged for the next four years. Followed by the camaraderie that kept her there. The summer before my freshman year, we started band camp. So I got to know a lot of people and I would get to see them in the halls and I would be like, oh my gosh, I know them. And I felt so much safer. This program has really done a lot for me. I've made so many friendships that are gonna last me so long. Everything about marching band and winter guard. I really love this program. Um, <laughs> same. Reporting from Lakewood Ranch with your final band of the week of the 2022 season, Mark Romano, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Now, John Schindler directs the band. This is his second year at Lakewood Ranch, but the first halftime show that was truly his, the 2021 halftime show, was left for him by the old band director, Ron Lambert, who did a great job there. Congrats, Mustangs, for a rewarding season. And it's always funny, whenever I go there, they're very good, but because the competition is so strong in the state championships, you never actually know whether or not they're going to make finals for right. the states. And it's just it's something special for them because they see all these other bands and they know how much work the other bands put in because they just did that. So yeah. it's like, it's disappointing, but you also have some respect for the bands who placed ahead of you because a lot of hours get put in to do that. I had no idea until your band of the weeks, I saw how much goes into those. I guess I just didn't pay much attention when I was. Yeah, well, it's, it's part of the reason though that, that we like this series is because not only are you getting a feel for the students and the shows and the bands, but you're also getting a feel for, you know, the behind the curtain kind of thing, yeah. lifting that up and, and seeing what they're doing and what they're feeling. And I love the uh, kids. They always come off so sweet and they are. They're always likable. I don't know how you do that. Ba band, I, I can say, and I was in marching band, there's always a ton of drama, but it always somehow works out, even if you never think it will. <laughs> and, and that's the God's honest truth. 